Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Jam Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 city apps, part 2. So, I'm going to be showing you just, like, how, what my favorite are. I'm going to list them in the description, plus I'm going to list the time so, to where they are. So, I'm also going to be creating a series of this, so I'll see you guys later. So, I'm just going to show you guys the top 5 apps, part 2. So, this comes to my first one, Android Lock XT which you can get cracked or from sinful iPhone repo or buy it but what you can what you do with it is you draw a passcode and you have to get it right so as you can see if you want to go to settings which is right here go down to Android lock XT there are a lot of uh, cap, uh, settings here, like change the pattern, appearance, which is like how big they, how the minimize, like to slide to open, tap to open, select the theme, blades, who am God, Pac-Man, squares, behavior, which is max attempts, pattern required, and insecure mode, and then finally the logging. Okay, so that's our first app, which is Android Lock XT. Our second app comes right here. As you can see, when I turn my page, my icons roll into circles. That app is called Barrel. And Barrel is another paid app that you can get from Cydia, but you can get it cracked from Excelize or Sinful iPhone Repo or whatever there is. If, once you download it from Cydia, go back to Settings, then go to Barrel mode curl and roll away there are many different roles like for example I'm just going to show you cube inside and and vertical and uh, cube outside so for cube inside it it does a 3d effect of cubing inside like when you turn a cube inside when you do it outside turning the cube outside then you're turning it so as you can see you can have the point there and it's like turning a cube a Rubik's cube so if you go to settings and then you can change one of them. I like curl and roll away because it's like a barrel. Okay, so that comes to our third app, which is full screen for Safari. Now, if you have full screen for Safari, start in first mode, wiggle if gesture fails, pop up theme. You can choose the theme for that. So, for example, if I want to go to gestures, uh, invert, tap back forwards, all these new like settings so if you we can also change the the URL that you can go to so I'm gonna just put mine to my website JM productions dot Weebly sorry I'm doing from behind a camera dot com Okay, so you can get rid of that, settings, and now if we go to Safari, wonder where it is, there it is, I'm actually going to move this over here, so it'll be on the first page, if you go to Safari, done. So as you can see now, it's in full screen. That's my third app. The fourth app I'm going to show you guys is Z Toggle. Z Toggle. So Z Toggle is for the is for for example, if for people who are on iPod Touch, you can uh for if for people on iPod Touch second generation you can turn on multitasking and wallpaper so if I click the it, so you saw the background there so if I double click it the home button it turns into the uh, multitasking and so that's my fourth app Z toggle now that's for my sec no that's actually my third app that one doesn't count because it's a second generation app only so my fourth app now is actually going to be Q tweeter Q Tweeter 
is something that I didn't make an account yet, I just got it right now. But QTweeter, what it does is it allows you to update your Twitter account straight from your lock screen. So if you go to add account, you can add an account type, connect your account. I'm going to put in my username so people can. JM Productions 1, please follow me on Twitter. Now I'm going to take my iPod out and then put in the password. Okay, now let's see. Ready to post? Use this account. Uh, posturous Y Frog Q Tweeter setup. Sorry, I'll show synchronicity in a different uh, account. So I'm gonna go to Q Tweeter. I'm gonna add an account. Go to Facebook, and then we can connect to Facebook. I'm gonna put in my email and password. It'll just take a little bit. You can skip this if you want. By the way, if you guys want to skip to it, the time right now is 6.41. 6.41 in the YouTube video. Now I can quit iTunes again. Okay, so, oh, incorrect email or log login account, ah, it doesn't matter. So now, if you turn off your iPod, you, you can turn off your iPod, it doesn't really matter, and go back to QTweeter. Now you can choose your options. I'll set the volume up to see if it. Oh, it doesn't play the sound. Okay, so I'll just get. I'll do flyby. Choose background. You can choose an image background. Photo library. I'm gonna do this. Thou shall not pass. Music tweet text. Donate to Q Tweeter, and that's pretty much it. So now let's turn off our iPod again and slide down from the menu bar. Hmm, let me try. Oh, I guess it's not working. Okay, I'll, I'll focus that in a, I'll focus that on that in a second, a little bit later. But QTweeter is an app, go check it out. To activate, slide your finger from the top status bar downward. Eh, anyway. That's our fourth app. Now finally, here comes the final app. Da -brum. Okay, so our final app has to be MX Tube. Now people like your like your tube or oops, I just pressed decline. Uh, a lot of people like your tube or more like your tube, but really, you can just I think this one is the best. So if you go to search download one of my videos. Uh, let's look up shaving cream. Oops, I'm sorry. You can choose stream or you can choose download. I like to choose download. Go back. Close. Now it's going to download the shaving cream, the song. Now we just wait for the shaving cream to, to download. Oh, there we go. There's QTweeter. <laughs> I guess it wasn't on your lock screen. Okay, so if, if you want to do QTweeter, now you can just... Uh, you can uh, update your status, pinpoint your location, 
pretty much is it's very useful Q Tweeter. It's for people who just want to update their Twitter really fast. So that's pretty much it guys. See you guys later. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Peace.